Hey, it's Jeremy here, Technical Marketing with Cisco Systems. And today I just have a brief introduction of the Cisco Yang Suite tooling. Uh, we'll go through a demo after we go through the installation of the tool. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to um, download the Yang Suite container uh, and the files from GitHub. So I'm just gonna do a git clone here. Now, once the repository has been downloaded, we can go into the folder, the Docker folder, and we can generate the SSL certificates here. So they've been generated now, and now we can actually bring the container up. So to do that, we do a Docker compose uh, up. And this is gonna take a few minutes. Uh, it's gonna go grab the necessary containers, build them, uh, put the files in, and then actually start up the service. So we'll come back in a few minutes uh, once this is completed. Okay, so when we see these messages here, this basically tells us that the Yang Suite service is listening. Uh, it's up, it's operational. We can now go connect to it uh, on the UI. So let's go do that. Okay, so here I've connected to it um, just on HTTP localhost and it's redirected me to HTTPS. So let's just work around this error here. And now um, once we've um, accepted the TLS, uh, we're now presented with the end user license agreement as well as the privacy policy. Uh, which we both need to accept uh, before we can use the tool. So we've now done that and I can log in with the admin and the super user here. Um, and now we are just brought to the, the main uh, login page here for Yank Suite. So uh, let's get started with the, uh, the day zero workflow. So let's take a look at the managed plugins here just to make sure that we have the latest version and everything's in the latest version. So that's great. We can go here and add the device now. Okay, so I've added the device. Now let's go here, and just do a quick reachability check. Now I'm expecting the ICMP pings to fail because it's blocked by the security policy, uh, but the NetConf connection uh, should be reachable. All right, so we see the uh, green checkbox uh, next to NetConf, so that's great, we can carry on. Let's now start working with the data models, the repositories here. So let's go in and create a new one called Sandbox. And I'm gonna select NetConf. This is where I'm gonna download the data models from. And now the device that we just added, and I'm gonna get the schema list. So this is gonna list all of the Yang data models uh, that are supported by the NetConf interface on this device. Let's go ahead and download uh, the complete set here of all of the Yang mod modules. It's gonna take a couple minutes. If we go back to uh, the command line while we do this, uh, you'll notice that um, we can see the, the get requests happening uh, between the various containers going out to each of the, um, going out to the device and grabbing each of the individual uh, data models here. Now, this is gonna take a few minutes because I am going out uh, from my laptop where I have Yanks we running uh, out onto the internet, uh, out to where the CSR is uh, somewhere, uh, downloading these 500 or so data models uh, back to my local laptop here. So it does take a, a couple of minutes when it is a, a remote connection. When I'm downloading data models from the Yang suite that's running in my lab to, again, network device that's in my lab, then to download these 300 or 400 or 500 data models uh, usually only just takes us under a minute, but going over the WAN link, then uh, it does take a little bit more time. Okay, so it looks like the download has completed here. We get the message saying that 540 modules uh, have been added. So what we can do next here is add all the modules that are now in this repository to the set. So this is just another uh, logical bucket um, that we can uh, uh, reference the data models by. So I'm gonna just add uh, the entire repository right, just to make it easy so that all the modules uh, are within one set here. Okay, great. So now uh, we've added the device and we've downloaded the data models, uh, we can do some uh, data sets and diffs and actually start to understand a little bit more about the data model uh, if we need to. So if, for example, we're working with BGP, uh, we can load this module up here, understand the data type, the prefix, 
um, the description and uh, some other details uh, for this uh, specific module, um, if that's the, the workflow that we need to. Okay, so this just gives us some information about the data model. Um, definitely another way to explore the, the Yang is using the Explore Yang uh, option. So let's go and explore this. BGP, we use the same uh, example here using the BGP Opera model. So we can load this uh, data model and we get to see all the information about the, um, the features that are supported here. Okay, now the next thing that we can do is go and actually uh, work with the data models using NetConf. So let's go over here to the uh, protocols NetConf and start building out this payload. Let's just understand what's happening um, with the running configuration on this device. So I'm just gonna load the native data model. Okay, so I've loaded the native data model here and we can start to build out uh, the model. And we can see that it's quite large. It contains all of the configuration uh, for the device. So what we can do is we can put a tick box uh, next to the native container here, and then we can click build our PC. So here now we see the XML payload uh, that we're gonna send to the device uh, to get back the running configuration. So let's choose the device. And when we select the run RPC, now we're gonna create that NetConf session to the device, send the XML payload, and then review the, the results that are in there. So that's happened here. Let's scroll back up to the top. Uh, and now we can see, this is what we sent, which was the, uh, the get uh, against the native uh, data model. And now here we can see the complete um, uh, XML rendered run at config. So we see the, uh, the banner that's been put on here and uh, all of the features that's been, that's been configured here. So there we go. Okay. So I think that's all that I wanted to show. Just a really quick demo, uh, just some of the basic features and fun functionality of Yang Suite. Um, using the NetConf connection, using uh, Yang, and uh, some of the other features. Okay, so we looked at um, really just the uh, GitHub link, um, but there's a bunch of other resources that are available here. We also use the um, DevNet Always On uh, sandbox environment here. Um, I just wanted to leave you with um, the landing page. So developer.cisco.com slash Yang Suite. Um, there's a bunch of links there as well as uh, how to engage with us and the quick start. So uh, we saw that in the very beginning of the video where we did the clone, the build, and the start, the container before we did the, uh, the day zero workflow. So with that, thank you uh, for watching. I hope you found this informative.